types of people in this world. Those who wonder what's happening, those who watch things happen, and those who make things happen. Those who can do, those that can't watch, and we don't want to watch. Since I was in 7th grade, Jerry Dean, better known as JD, has shown me that life moves fast, and if you don't get involved and make the most of it, you might miss it. He may have signed up to teach kids drums, but without knowing it, he's teaching students life lessons that all of us need to learn. JD always says that we want to make things happen in life and that we should strive to be insanely good. Based on everything he's accomplished so far, I'd say JD's done a pretty amazing job of following his own advice. JD was surrounded by musical influences in his childhood and grew up loving drums. He's always been one to work hard to be the best he can be and lead others to do the same, especially when it comes to music. When I was in fifth grade, I started in the public school system playing a lot more, but my dad was a professional drummer and band director. We had drums everywhere, so he started teaching when I was four years old. As a junior in high school, my dad taught drums at a music store in Des Moines, which is still there to this day, reading music. And when he get too many students or didn't want to do anymore, I would just end up doing it. So I would teach kids my age, which is odd at times, because I'd be trying for all states, so would they, and I'd be teaching my competition. So it was different. JD attended Iowa State University in 1980. My friends in high school, just like four or five of us, went to Iowa State. We joined marching band because that's what we wanted to do. Just thinking I was going to be a drummer in a band. I didn't really, the whole drumline thing was just starting then. specialized drum unit was created five years ago. It has grown in popularity over the years and created its own cheering section. It helped me with my leadership skills because I was in charge for most of my time there. It helped me with create, creativity because we got, they gave us the freedom to do what we wanted and write our own stuff so we got to do that, um, to perform at a very, very high level in front of people. <laughs> bigger and bigger part of my life. It was fun. In college, I worked my way through school at a restaurant in Ames, Perkins Restaurant. By the time I graduated, I was opening up new stores all around the country for them. I wanted my own business, and that was an easier way to do that. I also worked for Principal Financial Group because I'm very good at math. I got into the drum thing, so I have a lot of things I wanted to do. When opportunities arose, I, I took them. In 2002, J.D. opened his own restaurant, Americana Grill in Decora. It's like the whole business end of it of trying to figure out how to make things work mathematically and how to make money off of it. The creativity part of it was interesting for me. In 2007, JD started volunteering with the Decora High School drumline. Well, it's kind of a funny story. He just walked into my office one day and here was this guy with all this Iowa State stuff on and most of it was bleach stained because he was working at his restaurant that he had here in town, you know, and he, kind of shuffles in like J.D. shuffles in, and uh, I just looked at him and said, who is this guy, you know, and he just said, how would you like some help with your drum line? And First thing we did was just make it fun, and Mr. Fritz was very good about it. Never once told me what to do or what not to do. He gave me freedom. Do what you want, and I did. I mean, there's a couple times and I said, no, maybe not. I got a little too crazy of ideas and stuff like this. In 2010, JD was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. 
By stage 4, it means the cancer has spread to other organs. Colon cancer spreads easily and usually to the liver and kidneys. JD's cancer spread to his liver and later to his lungs. But JD's not someone who just gives up. Gotta quit working. Gotta start doing chemo every day. I mean, everybody always says this, that it changes the way you see life, but it, it does. Little things become more important than trying to work, 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 work to make money, get ahead, blah, blah, blah. Just the little things in life, friendships, relatives became much more important. Very early on, when he was really going through some of the really bad, bad chemo, and this was his first round, he'd never been through it before, and he was scared. And yet, I, I remember him sitting one day over at the percussion cabinet, and he's holding his head, and he's tapping the rhythm with another student, because that's really all the, the, the strength that he had to do. He couldn't even hold his head up. That was, that was a memory that um, left an impression with me, a very strong impression. I think being active and keeping a normal life helps. I'm sure it's a big reason why I'm still alive today. JD's battle with cancer teaches students the value of determination and making every day count, and that giving up is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Once you give up, I think it's a downward spiral. JD is still battling cancer, but he won't stop fighting till he's won. Become cancer free for a long period of time. By far, that's my biggest goal. JD is an amazing drum teacher, but his teaching goes way beyond that. Through life mottos and by his example, JD teaches students a lot of important life lessons. Live every day like it's your last. Look for the positives and everything. Never give up. The quiet, gentle people of the world can move mountains. He's a perfect example. All of us would have to admit we've gotten more from JD you know, than we've been able to return. Those that wonder what's happening, those that watch things happen, and those that make things happen. And Try to inspire my students to be something that makes things happen in the world. You can't discover new oceans without the courage to lose sight of the shore. For being somebody that treated everybody else with respect the way I want to be treated, and uh, somebody that lived life to its fullest and enjoyed it, got the most out of it that he could. People who are remembered, that's why they're remembered. You know, that kind of stuff is why they're remembered. So I don't think there'll be any problem with that for JD. He's just a heck of a guy, you know, and I'm, I'm very fortunate to be able to call him my friend. There are three types of people in this world. Those that wonder what's happening, those that watch things happen, and those that make things happen. And JD is definitely someone who makes things happen. He may have set out to be a drum teacher, but he ended up being a major role model for all his students. He's definitely making the most of his life and inspiring others to do the same thing. He'd never admit it, but JD is insanely good.